Okay, being able black folks, and basically we'll have another uh, shot. The video I just threw out today that I had didn't have time yesterday. We're going to watch this clock down here, and you have to watch this really closely, okay? Because it's not a plane, and that's why I gave you all the jet information, because we know of our badass. The SR-71 is the baddest ass one to check out for speed, okay? But watch what we have. This is part of it, and we do know we have the Oort cloud out there. Now, that's hell away, far away, and stuff like that. Now, this is the Hawaii cam stuff. Now, watch. This is minutes. This is hours, okay? We have nothing that can fly this fast, and I've proved this before, and I'm going to prove it again. Check out Hawaii, and then also, right now, when I'm checking this out, I haven't really watched the other video stuff. Now, if you see that, you only see 34, right? You're going to see your clock there. Now, we're going to, uh, I'm going to take you back to the Oort cloud masses that you can see here, and that we're also, now, that was it again, okay? You see that minutes? So, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Let's play the video now, and we'll, you'll see the Oort clouds. Oort cloud, Oort cloud, Oort cloud, Oort clouds, Oort clouds, Oort clouds, Oort clouds, Oort clouds, okay? I uh, should be able to take you to the, uh, the map of what you get of that manages uh, matches what we get electrical energy. And if you watch the minutes on all this stuff, folks, this is not planes, okay? It's not satellites. We have stuff that's entering our atmosphere, and it's going to be asteroids and comets that are going to end up possibly hitting something. The moon, uh, some objects close to us, as you see that one looping over high, that's not a satellite, ladies and gentlemen. It's moving too fast. Let's watch those minutes, okay? Watch these minutes tick. This is hours, military time, 2258. 2, Hawaii standard time, folks, okay? It's military time on a Hawaii standard clock, okay? And then I, uh, I froze it with our basically what one of our, all of our suns that are popping out of the, uh, and that Oort cloud also, which stays up in the sky 24-7 all the time, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we will end up, I believe, now I'm just looking at this now, but you do pretty much know that that is possibly just a uh, reflection, or let's see what it is, because it will be just a reflection of that sun, miniature sun that's about 13% of the size of... Uh, and I got all the names if you pay attention to the, yeah, that's the reflection of one of those suns, okay? Is that twist, okay? And we'll see if we end up with the meatball up on top. I'm not sure if we'll end up with the meatball com coming in. Because that's in dark space, the meatball is, okay? The only reason we've been able to see it on the past ones is because it comes up and, uh, it would, before it would end up coming up. And I don't know, I don't know if they've edited, tried to make sure it don't show up now anymore, or if it does show up. So you might have to look real hard for it. It used to be right along the top of the, the footage up there. But that shows you those Oort clouds that are there that are basically CME energy that's out in space because it's blown off the sun, okay? From the ass kicking that the sun is taking in the supergiants or whether you want to turn around and say the sun's kicking the supergiants ass, but everything is in the supergiants main sequence is 4 to 78 times the size of the sun. Okay, and we know that the meatball in the dark, deep darkness of space is, uh, okay, so that was the video. So basically, you can just make sure that you watch the beginning of it to see all these orts that are out there, okay? And then you will be able to match it to a lot of, And also, I just watch these light flashes come along again. And just watch these minutes because you're going to see that it's not no damn airplanes. It's not no damn, uh, that's not no airplane. That's not no airplane because it's minutes. Watch the minutes right there. It's just minutes, folks. Nothing can go across the sky that damn fast. Okay? We have, if it's an SR-71 Blackbird, but we don't have the SR-71 Blackbird, and that's kind of a, oh, well, I'm not in the military. don't know. I don't have any connections, okay? Pretty sure it's not flying no more. Uh, we could, we would, and we will, and we do probably use it. Uh, the the ones that aren't retired, okay. So it doesn't really matter about all that. But those are not SR-71 Blackbirds flying by, folks. Okay, the Oort clouds will go away. Basically, impressions of objects between us as the sun goes down. And when the sun was up, you get the shadows of planets that are between us and the sun in the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, those are planets that are out there between us and the sun, and their shadows and images. And as the sun goes down, 
those ORT images go away. Now the ORT clouds and what they call them, let me go to my video. Now there are Magellanic, Magellanic, basically magnetic energy clouds out in space from huge objects that bump into each other, okay? And also there's these huge objects that are up in space that are in these clouds, okay? So we have all kinds of clouds. And anybody can come up with different. Basically the one we have there has those huge planets in that Oort cloud, okay, that are in front of, end up being in front of the supergiants, the moon, anything that puts off light, Venus, Jupiter, whoever, whatever ends up with some light to it on a full moon from the supergiants and the sun, okay, and then you see the Magellanic cloud, the Oort cloud, that is currently hovering over uh, Hawaii and the Ring of Fire and way the hell out in space. Okay, we do have to determine now. Let's go look at some shots that we got today from. Uh, so we have tons of global clusters that are out there in space, and basically, what we have to do is remember and realize how far a lot of them that are out. Okay, M22 is another global cluster that's out there. Okay, so and basically that's what they look like, telescope-wise and so forth but they get energy and light energy and sun reflection down to Earth right now with all the supergiants and all the action. I.e. Sun. Yes, all this stuff ends up hitting Earth in the ring of fire and so forth around with the sun and everything like that. Okay? Now let's go to a current uh, map. Now this is the current sky chart, folks, so I'm not sure if I had that matched up correctly. So you can, I don't even know when we replay this whether it was a current or not. I just looked up M22 because I just wanted to get to one of my things. Now there is our Oort cloud that we know of that they keep an eye on, okay? Right there, that little black. The, the constellation line and it's black because it's all new to be named, okay? Now these constellations are known here and here, okay? And all this other stuff is known, okay? But this other stuff is going to be tagged in, okay? And we may have known about this for a hell of a long time, who knows, okay? So right now currently in our sky, that's we got Mercury there, Venus, Jupiter, okay, and this is a view from North America, and we know that that's the sun. So we get our map, and then you can see what's ending up being able to be seen in Huntsville right now, okay? So, uh, is that cloud cover there, or what is it? Uh, let's take a look at, I think I can go to 200% safely, and go in there and look at that. So anyway, no matter what, if it's cloud cover, or whatever the hell it is, okay? That's what you got in the sky, okay, in Huntsville, okay? And we know we didn't have the moon right now, correct? So that's just the sun, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And that's the sun's signatures and stuff like that that are around it and so forth and so on. And then with when we get those other suns out of the supergiants that come up in the evening in the west, yes, that's different, okay? So all this stuff is out there with the sun right now in the sky in Tullahoma. You can see that. Now, is that a cloud? Well, we've seen dimples like orange in the clouds, before. So there's, and these are, right now, this should be, when was this shot taken? This was taken at 12 Zulu. So you minus like eight hours off. This was like one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and if we got 338 central time right here, US. So this is like maybe a two, three hour old shot, something like that, ballpark. Okay. Now we had our map and they got their map. We'll go to that one in a second. So we know that that's the sun that we're seeing there on that. We can say up 200%. And there's what you got in the sky there. And you get of what's in front of the supergiants and the sun, okay, showing up in the sky, because that's 1339 UTC, okay, Zulu time, so you minus the time between here, and I'm, it changes during the year, so whatever we got now, and then you got the uh, dark haze up there, not in front of the sun, but behind it, and then you also get the objects, and they don't like this because you're seeing it. This is daytime sky right now, ladies and gentlemen. Looking up at the daytime sky. Okay, so we'll be able to take pictures of this. I'm going to take a shot. So this is daytime sky in Tullahoma. So now if that's not cloud, then it could be Oort cloud, and then it would be hella far out in space, but it's going to freak people out when they see it. Okay? And um, what I'm wondering is if you can actually really see uh, possibly the meatball, which is in the dark, way the hell behind on our back door somehow being from all the supergiants light being reflected to earth and you can see that and basically is that 
the uh, meatball out in space getting photoed down to Earth, and you can actually go out and see it in the sky if it's not chemtrailed. I'm not sure. Uh, haven't been able to see it here, clear sky. So we had that shot. I'll, I took that, and I took a picture of that one. And let me take a picture of this one, too. Okay, so I'm going to zoom down, and I'll take a picture of this one. We'll be able to zoom in on it on the shots. Probably be in the next video, or next half dozen videos. Anyway, this will be it. And this was Telus at 1300, okay? So basically just a lot of light or overcast or something. So there's all your images up here anyway. And basically these two didn't look like they were reporting, or if they're not getting, we're not getting much of an image there. No, not, not really reporting. Not even an image there at either one of these. Okay, there's nothing. It's black. Okay, here's the map real fast, because so, basically you guys can always cruise and watch everything at full screen and cruise through and freeze, okay? And then you have Oort and Asteroid Belt objects here, okay? And constellations, uh, duh, okay? And this designates one of them, the celestial ones, that's still hanging around, being visible. And I think this is the other one that they know of this time of year, okay? Because if you normally go to their their objects here, they will uh, list them in their objects like I've shown people before, okay? Those colors denote where they're from, what asteroid belt they're from. And once again, this was the current uh, today. And when I get full screen, you always watch for your central time over here and your date. Okay, folks, you can kind of see this is a special camera that I get this shot from. And basically, these dots that are bright in this blackness are objects that are out in front of basically between us and the sun and the everything and all the supergiants is all blacked out. And these are objects that are between us, Earth, and up there in space to all the SOHO cameras, okay? And we're going to give you uh, where they're at right now in a second. So basically you get a blotch here. You see those brightnesses and those are huge planets. Uh, because And you'll see an interesting object up here, folks. Basically this here is an object in there in that shot, in this black and white shot. Let me zoom it in. And I think I might have a peg on this object here, folks, in a second because it's either low or high towards Earth from the sun, which the sun would be in the middle of this whole shot. Let me pop it down to 100% real. The sun and the supergiants would basically be in here in this shot and then back towards that way. And all these are huge objects, okay? Of what I normally would show you, let me take you to the L3, and that's that object there that I zoomed in on. Today. And let me have you show you what I figure and think and guess it might be. Now I'm presuming on that, okay? And yes, on three, they are blanking us out right now on some stuff, so it's very interesting, okay? So normally the sun would be here and back, and Earth is this way, and that object was more than likely somewhere in here or down here. Okay, let's go to two. And here we are at two, and so basically you would see that the sun would be here and back, and then this stuff, basically you can see when I blow in on this shot, that you can see the flaring of the sun, and you can see that there's a huge planet right there next to the sun. Okay, and maybe more than one, and you've seen on all the movies before. I uh, don't have time to go to uh, movies today, but I'll get it all in. You can see, folks, these Magellanic, however you say it, are the clouds of space, not our stratus and all these that we know of on Earth. So what we showed you earlier on Fireball is this in space, folks, not on Earth. That, that was probably a Magellanic cloud in outer space. And they're starting to talk about it since what you're seeing in the sky over there. And now I'm going to also take you to some recent images. You'll be able to freeze this and read all this information on this part of dark cloud action, okay? And I'll probably try to do some more on this in the future, okay? Let me pop that up to 400% on there. And you'll get an idea of what they realize and figure that what's out there in space, okay? Now let me take you to what we got. From. And all this is truth, folks, because the idea, they won't let me. As you see, I'm clicking on, and they won't let me approve your comments, okay? You can comment all you want. They won't let me approve my comments from you guys, okay? They're screwing with us because we're telling too much truth. So this is very, so more than likely that cluster we've been seeing by Earth on all those sketchy highs that I've been showing you, because ahead today we find that, okay? This is all today. And I'll have pictures and more on this later. And super giants and, and everything in the sun that's not being shown and then what's falling down in front of the sun as you see right there. Let me blow that up. So this below our sun and also this up here. Stereo H1 today folks so there's what's bugging a lot of people okay. That's today taken today right here folks I'll scroll up to it. There it is right there on a the head right today folks. This is today's shot too and the sun's remnant is like a volcano. See that? Or a planet. Bam. So everything's matching up. Let me give you a map on Venus and Mercury is the only thing that should be in them shots today.
Or soon, Rad. CPM today, maybe.